Hello and welcome guys, I am Soba Malik and in this video I am going to show you how to create a sketchbook interiors using Microsoft PowerPoint. I have created this interiors for kids sketchbook. You can see the page is blank one and there is a border all around this page so that it is allowed by Amazon to publish. Because Amazon don't allow you to publish total blank pages, that's why we, you need to add some some type of border or lines so that it is eligible for publishing. So how to do this and how to create this interior for sketchbook, let's get started. First go to file, blank presentation, then get rid of this then go to design and change its size to slide size custom slide size i am creating a sketchbook of 8.5 into 11 inches so the width would be 8.625 because i am adding a bleed of 0.125 so the width would be 8.625 and similarly the there was there would be a bleed of 0.125 towards the top and 0.125 towards the bottom that's why its height would be 11.25 this interior is with is with bleed so 8.625 is width 11.25 is height then click on ok and then click on ensure fit now our basic uh, page has been created all have all we have to do is to go create some type of border so go to uh, insert then shapes and drag drag a rectangular shape here like this then adjust its height and width its height will be one inch shorter than the total height I will keep this height to 10.25 and width to 8.5 yes 7.5 sorry 7.5 now you can see now uh, just align this center and then align middle now just go to shapes shape format shape uh, fill and click on no fill then go to shape outline and go to shape weight one point is t uh, okay and then go to dash sketched and select some sort of line like this it is uh, change so that it is change then the other people's work to make it unique I have sketched it then go to dashes and add this dashed now our simple and very good looking border has been added change the color to automatic or black now all you can do is just duplicate this Con uh, select this page control plus d 10 times 9 times to make 10 pages these are 10 pages then control plus a then control plus d once then twice now there are 30 pages Control plus A, then Control plus D. Now you can see the pages are 60, then Control plus A and Control plus D. Now you can see we have 120 pages of a sketchbook. Our sketchbook is ready. All you have to do is insert our title page here. Go to Insert, New Slide, and add a blank slide. Just move it toward the top. Uh, even you can delete one slide from the top now <coughs> now we will design our first page just go to insert then a text box 
here and change the font to some like 60 and write here sketch book or like this you, you can change the font to something different like this drag it to ah you can enter uh, sorry you can press enter here then select all this and make it center and place it in the very center of this the other thing you can do is to make a little designing just go to shapes and insert some shape like this and shape change the shape fill to some gray and remove the outline then right click on this shape and send to back that's all now change the move the font uh, text toward the upper this is how a uh, basic uh, sketchbook interior is created in powerpoint this is really helpful and you can uh, even save it as template just go to file save as and uh, go uh, uh, name it like kids sketchbook sketchbook and from the drop down select this powerpoint template which is extension is dot potx and save it you can then go back and every time you want to create this type of interior go back to file then select this one here recent and you are then good to go go to file and click on export and click on create pdf and save this pdf to your pc or laptop i'm saving it uh, on my desktop just click publish let's see how it looks just wow it is beautiful wow this is really good interior for a sketchbook for kid for a kid's sketchbook you can create in few minutes using powerpoint that's all for me for tomorrow's video for today's video sorry do subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button below this video and also turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any new video from me thanks for watching again bye bye